Okay, so let's begin with number one, the MQSC. So if you turn to page 31, you will see that if you're doing text-based commands, you're going to use the MQSC, as we said. And these are known as WebSphere MQ script commands, or MQSC. And that you'll type them into a console or some sort of scripting environment. For example, this command creates a queue with speci specified attributes. We're not going to do this a specific command, but I'm going to show you how you go in and, and use the tool. But just before we do that, take a look at this uh, excerpt, which says that the command line interface for a the command line interface has a scripting language called the IBM MQ script commands MQSC. The scripting tool is called run MQSC and it's used to run the script. So, you know, scripts that you would write, basically text files that you would write and then run on the queue manager to create and start a queue by using the command line interface, complete the following steps. So let's take a look at what this uh, looks like. So if I switch over here to the uh, CFM server, or uh, this would be the core server, and I want to issue these commands. The very first thing you have to do is not log in as or switch users at root. So you need to switch out of the this user to MQM. How do you know that it's MQM? Well, essentially, if you do a cat for Etsy password, you can see a list of the users, and essentially you need to look for, and actually you can make this a little smarter and do grep MQ and see all the MQ based users and MQM is the manager user. Okay, so what we want to do is do an SU uh, dash, which is the same as an L or login, login as uh, MQM. And once we've done that, we can start, um, basically, we want to run this command, the uh, run MQSC. So first thing is let's do uh, run MQSC and locate where it is, and you'll see that it's it's here. So if if I if you type in run MQSC and you you get an error message, then you could CD into here or update your path so you you know you can load this file, this binary, run the binary. Okay, so now that we've done that, you'll see it says copyright IBM and it says no MQSC commands have been read, no commands have a syntax error, and all valid MQ. SC commands were processed. So th this is the command interpreter and we can run our commands um, against it. But typically you don't actually just type in run MQSC. You need to generally speaking give it the name of the queue. So in order to do that you would, and that's actually if you notice here we were returned when I just typed in the name of the binary we got returned back to our command prompt in Linux. So again this is sort of what I was saying before what you normally do is give it the name of the queue that you are trying to access and in the case of CFM that's CFQM and when you do that look at the behavior changes and instead of returning us to the command prompt we are given a blank screen the blank screen here is essentially this prompt is a prompt for us to type in additional commands and here you can type in the commands that we that it suggested we could type in before so what are some common commands that you might type in well one of them is to take a look at all of the lis listeners so you know we saw before what listeners uh, are what they mean and here if you type in dis which is a short verm of form of display, which I'll show you in a second, then we can list out the status of all the listeners. That's what this means. This asterisk is a wildcard so that you can, you don't have to mention the specific listener, but if you knew what it was, you could in, in fact type it in up here. And uh, now we're seeing a list of these listeners. So this is interesting, right? Because you have port number 1414, and here you have 9997. Well, if you take a look at the name here you have the cfqm listener and then look at this this is the cfqm ssl listener so if you want to connect over ssl just by running this uh, this command here you can know you, you know from the names of these that you need to make ssl connections into 9997 and 1414 for non-ssl connections and you can tell as well that this is a tcp connection so that's one interesting command. Now, how do you know that you can type in DIS instead of display? Well, what you can do is type in DIS and then hit enter. And you'll, you'll see you have valid MQSC commands R. And then you can, um, you, can, you can tell that actually you could do DISPL. That would also do display. This is just a short way to, um, to issue the command. Now, what you do not have, unfortunately, is uh, tab completion. So if I hit tab, it's, it's not going to work. The later versions of 
uh, of MQ uh, will let you do that. But this version for I ICFM can't, you can't do that. But there are ways to work around it. And uh, there's even software you can download that will make that easier. But anyway, DISP for display. And then if you notice, uh, you'll get suggestions on what else you could type in uh, there. Now, another way you could, another command you can issue is DIS for display again, QL, and then star, and then all. And then notice what this does. That's going to give you a list of the Q details. So we have quite a few here, obviously. But you can see, uh, you know, all the, all the details about a given Q. And if you had a specific Q that you were interested in, then you can type that in. Now, again, if I, we don't have command, uh, tab completion, but we also don't have the up and down arrow completion. So if I hit the up arrow, you're going to get this error. And again, that's been fixed in the latest version, which we are not using. So unfortunately, we can't use that. But DISQL, and if you know the name, say cf.analysis.response. And remember that ob objects in MQ are case sensitive. So if I type in the wrong uh, case here, you're going to get an error. But in, in any case, we, if we wanted to just look at that particular um, that particular queue, we could do that, and then we get all these details. Like, for example, how large can you uh, can your message be? And this is 100 megabytes. So on this particular queue, CF analysis response, you can put up to you know that large of, of a message. Okay, so once you're done, you can hit END. You type in END and hit Enter to leave the the uh, MQSC. And then, as I mentioned before, you can actually use the MQSC as a scripting um, command binary. So in other words, you can write files and then have this system, this executable, run your script. So how do you do that? Okay, so once you're done, you can hit END, you type in END and hit enter to leave the, the uh, MQSC. And then, as I mentioned before, you can actually use the MQSC as a scripting um, command binary. So in other words, you can write files and then have this system, this executable, run your script. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, you need to have a script. So I'm going to type in vim and then tilde forward slash. And I'm just going to, I made this file before. It's called sean.msqsc. And notice what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm just doing a display, essentially what we had typed in before. This is saying the channel is this, and then the channel type is server con. So these should be familiar topics from what we'd uh, seen before. If that seems odd, just review those topics in MQ. And then we also have a display ls status. So essentially these two commands that we had run before. And what you can do is you can tell the system, that is run MQSC, give it the name of the queue and, and bring an input. That's what this uh, uh, less than sign is. So I have a file. In other words, my input file is, and you give it the path and then take a look at this. I'm going to clean the screen off and I'm going to hit enter and look at that. So this is a way, it does essentially what you would expect. This is a way to not interactively type your commands into the system, but simply um, run the script. One way to simulate the command completion is to use a Linux trick where you simply echo out your command into, so you're piping into, run MQSC. And this is uh, similar, kind of close to tab, not tab completion, but it will at least give you some sort of command completion by hitting control R, because then you can say type in CH and you'll bring up your channel command, which will then run the command, do the command by using echo and then output the results. Another way to do this is you can adjust your vimrc like this. So you say dot vimrc and then run this. So command with a capital R and run that command, which is going to essentially do the same thing. It's just going to run run mqsc, give it that Q name, and then give it the current file that you're working on. So if I do this, I say vim and then I open up a given scripting command, then I can hit colon shift R and notice this, it runs all the commands in that file. Good news in MQ version nine, you do get all of those features of command completion and the up and down arrows and you can see them listed here. Uh, what I wanted to show you though, in addition to that was this some utilities link would take you to this page MQ gem. And if you do need in version eight of MQ to have all those uh, command completion and other fancy uh, 
command or textual based uh, user interactive features, up arrow, command confusion. You can use this program here, extended MQSC or MQSCX, which does a whole bunch of other things as well, which can be uh, pretty interesting depending on uh, what you're working on.